Hey, what's up everybody? Dylan here from Iceberg TV. Today we've got the brand new Casey White Skywalker 2. It's the FD1 in the color glow plastic. I do actually have my old um, Horizon FD1 from last year's Skywalker 1 drop. And then we'll also be comparing it to a C-Line PD. In my opinion, these molds are essentially exactly the same. This is just a 10 speed and these are just a seven speed. So they pretty much have the same side profile. This just has a bit of a wider rim. So it's gonna fly a little faster and a little farther. Um, but I do think this was a worthwhile comparison to make. So we'll compare the one to the two to the PD. Anyway, 7402 by the way is the flight numbers of this guy. We'll throw the Skywalker one, then the two, and then the P Dizzle. Again, no turn, but a nice solid fade at the end. This is your workhorse fairway driver for when you need something stable. These are, FD1 has always been a good mold. And anyone that throws really hard really likes the FD1. But the FD1 can also be super useful for newer players and players with slower arm speeds because you can just use it for those overstable shots. Maybe you want something faster than a mid, but slower than your nine speed. That's where that FD1 can really come in and shine for you. Oh, I freaking yanked that one. A brand new C-Line PD is just so beefy. Let's go grab them. We'll throw them a few more times. We got big homie mowing out here today. Hopefully it doesn't run over one of my discs. Now I might be wrong about this, but to my understanding, I haven't really seen Gannon Burr throw the FD1 all that much. I'd be really curious to hear his reasoning as to why he doesn't really mess with the FD1 like that. Because I feel like as far as him being a flex player, this thing's gotta be plenty stable, um, but maybe a nice slow compliment to the PD that he likes so much. Maybe he'd just rather have several PDs in the bag than mess around with other fairway drivers. But it seems like the FD1 would be a really nice disc for Gannon Burr. This is gonna be a really good test of the noise canceling on the wireless microphones. Otherwise, you guys are gonna have to enjoy the sweet and the luxurious sounds of landscaping in the backdrop here. We'll go Skywalker 1, Skywalker 2, and then Power Driver. I do think that one is a little bit straighter. Um, my experience, the Horizon blends have been less stable than the C-Line and the Color Glow blends. Frickin' Yank City into the tree. But I definitely think the Color Glow variation is a lot more stable than the Horizon variation. All right, guys, we're going to give these a go on the Flex forehand line. This is mostly what Casey White is using these for. We'll go with the Horizon, the Color Glow, and then show you guys how it compares to the PD. Nice and stable. I feel like a lot of people forehand a stable mid and a lot of people forehand a nine speed. There's not a lot of people that forehand a seven speed out here. This is the new color glow. Pretty similar. The color glow one certainly doesn't go quite as far and is definitely a little more stable than the horizon. The PD essentially flies the same, but again, maybe just a touch faster and a touch farther. Really nice compliment to one another. All right, guys, this is gonna be our last throws of the day. Horizon, Color Glow, and then PD, and then we'll be all done. That's the Horizon, plenty of beef on that, but definitely a hair straighter than this guy, the Color Glow, we'll give it a little more angle. And then last throw of the day, we've got the PD here. Oh, watch out, walking path, skip. Well, all right, guys, if you're an FD1 
enjoyer, I think you're going to find this run to be a tick more stable. So if you want a super stable Skywalker, this is going to be the run for you. Um, if you want something a little less stable, go get yourself the Horizon Blend. You'll get a little more forward push out of it. But man, big homie's still mowing there. And the noise canceling on these microphones is so phenomenal. We're not even worried about it. We're completely unfazed. Anyway, go check yours out over at powergripusa.com. Use my discount code iceberg10. It'll save you 10% on your order and all orders over $70 ship for free. I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you so much for watching my channel and take care.